I woke up this morning to a very pleasant surprise. Announcements from Gamescom. It's currently happening in Germany where Terra Worlds has announced a official early access release date on Bannerlord. That early access date is supposed to be March of 2020. Super excited about that. This is going to be... This is one of my favorite franchises. Uh, the Mountain Blade series is... I've got all the games I've played hundreds of hours in all of them, if not thousands in Warband. But got me super excited about that. And it's now for sure... Well... It, they have said it as a for sure date. It's not like they have previously said, previously said, where they said, oh, quarter three of 2017 or whatever it was supposed to be originally. The game will be out. And then when quarter three of 2017 came, all of a sudden, it's, oh, well, it'll actually be like quarter two of 18 or it'll be quarter, quarter two of 19 or anything like that. For, for now, at least, there is a set date, March of 2020. The game is going to be early access on Steam. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to base it off of the dev blogs. They have been focusing a lot on multiplayer um, and their announcements on the game. But the dev blogs, they've been focusing a lot, or at least half of the ones in the last year, have been focused on the single player aspect, no the nobility, the, the family clans, the capturing and, and killing of prisoners. It's drops renown and honor and all sorts of... They've been talking about that system so much. It makes me feel like there might be some single player aspect in the early access as well. At least that is my hope. I'm hoping it's not going to be multiplayer only. Though there is going to be a huge multiplayer aspect of it. But I'm going to be optimistic and say that there's going to be single player aspects as well. Might not be the full single player that they are hoping to release when it eventually releases completely. But I feel like there's going to be at least at the launch some sort of single player campaign. There probably won't be mod support or anything like that at early access launch. But I think that single player and multiplayer will be there. That they're going to be a lot of fun. But we'll have to wait and see. All we can really do now is... Uh, is speculate and hope and all of that that they're gonna release both aspects especially if you're more into single player than the multiplayer which i've always really enjoyed both in the mountain blade series but i always have loved the uniqueness of the mul of the single player rather in mountain blade it's so unique i've never played games that have a single player campaign like it and so my hope is that they will both be there. Whether they are or not, no one really knows for sure, except for, you know, Tell Worlds themselves, if they've even come to that conclusion yet, if they're going to put everything in or not. Hopefully they'll make an announcement about that at some point before it, early access in March, which that is still, what is that, six or seven months away. So we still have another half a year to wait for the game, which both kills and excites me. Kills me because I've been waiting for this game since like the initial re the initial announcement 2012 2013 and the Steam announcement 2015. But that's what we know so far. We can only hope and pray and and speculate what's going to happen. But anyway, that has been Mountain Mountain Blade Banner Lord news and updates. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you would like to. If you don't like the video, dislike it, and I'll see you on the next one.